I want to introduce you to Jose Antonio Vargas, but I have four minutes in this video, so please pause this video and click anywhere on the screen to see his video, then come back. We're the Harry Potter Alliance. Had the privilege of meeting him last week at the National Media Convention in Orlando. I'll post a longer vlog about this on my personal channel as well as all the raw footage ASAP. Now here's some snippets from the 40 minutes of footage that I shot today. I'm so excited to share with you guys. You see all these undocumented kids, college students, high school students coming out. It's so funny, the term coming out, because I'm really just coming out to people. Like, it's not out to me. <laughs> like, this is my life, right? I'm just somehow forcing you to see it within your eyes to walk in my shoes. Documented people buy houses, and documented people have checking accounts, and documented people go to college and graduate, and all of that. Just last night, I was actually chatting with a young man in Florida who's going to law school here, who's about to graduate law school spring. And you know, if you're undocumented, you can't take the bar. I have spoken to people who have engineering biology degrees, people who have medical, who are, who are about to take, you know, the board. People also, if you want to be a pre-med student, you can, you know, go through medical school, but you can't take the board if you're undocumented. So we exist. This problem, this immigration problem has been has never really been focused on. I have people who want to talk about immigration and, you know, economic argument. It's like, as far as I'm concerned, I want more people paying taxes than not paying taxes. Which, by the way, I've been paying taxes. I mean, I paid a lot of taxes. Last year, undocumented people paid $11.2 billion in state taxes. Do you ever hear that figure? Honestly, do you hear that figure? No, you don't. Because the narrative is, we mooch from society, we're all from Mexico, we're crossing the border, and we're a detriment to this society. That's what we're always hearing. And that is really the failure of our own reporting. So we talk to people, after you, you know, within the interview, you tell them, by the way, I'm one of these people you're calling an illegal alien. This woman goes, what did she say? Why are you speak English so well? I'm so good, she said. <laughs> okay. um, and then she says, why did you just get legal? Because <laughs> I'm a masochist, I tell her. <laughs> Ma'am, there's no way. There's no line. If there's a line, I would get my bag. I would like sit there. If you have, if, if you told me to wait, that I have to wait for ten years, I'd wait for ten years. If you told me that I have to pay a fine, I'd, I'd pay a fine. If you would tell me to pay my taxes, I already did that. Pass an English test. I speak English pretty well. But there's no line, there's no solution. Okay. Um, who are you recording this video? Um, I, I do a video every Monday on this um, YouTube channel called the Harry Potter Alliance, and we're a nonprofit organization where we take, uh, we take an analogies from the Harry Potter books and we apply them to real world problems. Okay, there's a, there's and, a, there's a social entrepreneur right here. <laughs> <laughs> and Can I, you share the video with me? Definitely. Okay, good. And uh, I actually, last week, I started talking about um, immigration, and I mentioned the, the loss in detention uh, documentary that came out on PBS. Now, if everybody can, can maybe the Kim, the Kim Kardashian show can give up its time slot, and we can that document. Right, yeah. <laughs> I encourage comments and video responses. Also, please go subscribe to Mogul Howlers for a secret project from the HPA that will be revealed mid-November. As always, stay awesome.